Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. Hi, I'm Choo Choo. Today, my friends and I have invited all our mommies and daddies for a party. We're going to serve them yummy things to eat. But most importantly, we're going to be polite and well-mannered kids. It's important to have good manners, right? So come and join our party. Here are the chips. Soft and yummy sandwiches. Here comes the salad. And soda for all the mommies and daddies to drink. Everything looks so nice. It's going to be an awesome mommy and daddy's party. I wonder where Cusley is. Yeah, he's supposed to help us. Look who's here to make your day. It's super adorable me, Cusley. You're late, Cusley. We've already finished doing all the work. Hey, that's not true. I'm here to do the most important job. Try out all the food and see if it's good enough for our parents. Cusley, yeah. please don't eat with your mouth open. It's disgusting. And don't make those sounds while chewing, Cusley. These chips are great! Ugh, Cusley, that's gross! Yeah, you're not supposed to talk with food in your mouth. Hey, what's your problem? I enjoy eating this way. But people around you don't enjoy watching you. Yeah, it grosses them out. That's just too bad for them. Yummy! You know what I like best about soda? Uh. The burps! <laughs> Cusley, that's really bad manners. Uh. But it's so much fun! <laughs> uh. oh, bad manners aren't funny, Cusley! Gosh, what a mess you make while eating, Cusley. That's not polite. There's food all over your face. It's disgusting. Yeah, I'd hate to be sitting next to someone with such terrible table manners. Well then, don't. Your problem. I'm headed to the yard to see if the mommies and daddies are on their way. <laughs> Cusley's being so gross. If he behaves like this during the party, all the parents will be disgusted. Oh no, we can't let that happen. It's better to call off the party. What's up, kids? Why does everyone look so sad? I thought you'd all be excited about your mommy's and daddy's party. Mommy, we were really excited about this party. But not anymore. We want to call it off. Why? What happened, darlings? Tell me. Maybe I can help fix things. Mommy, Hesley's doing disgusting things. He's eating with his mouth open and burping and spilling. And he won't stop because he thinks it's funny. Yes, Mrs. Charlie. Hesley's terrible table manners will gross out all our parents. That's why we want to call off the party. Hmm, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. But you know what, kids? You're his best friends. And if you want to do what's good for him, you must help him improve his table manners. But how, Mommy? He just laughs at us. So here's an idea. Instead of canceling the party for everyone, 
You need to tell Cusley that he's not welcome to the party if he shows such bad manners. That's a great idea! <laughs> Cusley, we need to talk to you. If it's about the way I eat, I'm not listening. You're going to have to put up with it. No, we're not going to put up with it. Huh? What does that mean? That means you're not invited to the mommy's and daddy's party. What? But why? Because your bad manners will ruin the party for everyone. That's why we can't have you at the party. My mommy said so too. Your mommy said that? Okay, listen. I really want to be at the party. I promise I'll be well mannered. I'm sorry. I won't behave like that anymore. Please. Please, please let me attend the party. I won't be gross anymore. You, you promise? promise? I promise. Okay, we'll give you a chance, Cusley. But if you're ill-mannered again, we, we won't be your friends. friends. You know who's going to be the best-behaved kid at that party? Super adorable me. May I serve you one, Mr. Charlie? You're a very polite kid, Cusley. Yes, you have excellent table manners. Thank you, Mrs. Williams and Mr. Charlie. Actually, I get that a lot. I'm so bored of being praised all the time. Ugh. Watch me have some fun. Where are your manners, Cusley? Don't you know you're supposed to cover your mouth while yawning? <laughs> Cusley was a fussy little boy. He always complained about everything. Oh! This cushion isn't soft enough. Ew! I don't like this ice cream. Chica! The gift you gave me isn't nice at all. Huh? Cusley's mother was quite worried about him. Cusley grumbles and fusses about everything. He is very rude. He must learn how it makes others feel when he complains <laughs> like that. One day, Cusley's mother came up with an idea. She spoke to Choo Choo and Cusley's other friends. I need your help, children. Cusley's mother then asked Cusley to invite his friends home. Cusley, why don't you invite your friends over tomorrow? You can all play together. I'll help you bake cookies and make chocolate milkshakes. Good idea, Mom! Cusley liked the idea. And so he invited all his friends. Please come over tomorrow. We'll have lots of fun. The next morning, Cusley took out all of his favorite toys and games. We're going to have fun playing with these things. He then baked cookies 
and made chocolate milkshakes. Mmm! Kasli then made the living room very comfortable for his friends. Soon, Kasli's friends came by. Hi, Kasli! Hi, everyone! Come on! Let's play! Kasli brought his toys and games out. These are my favorite toys and games. Let's play with them. But Chacha and Chica made a fuss. I don't want to play indoors, Kusli. I want to go out. Huh? I don't like your toys and games. They are boring. Huh? Kusli didn't know what to do. He felt like Chacha and Chica were being very fussy. Kasli then brought out the cookies and milkshakes he had made. Everyone, I've baked cookies and made chocolate milkshakes for all of us. I hope you like them. Everyone took a cookie and a milkshake. But to Kasli's surprise, they all started grumbling. Cookie is very hard. This cookie is too soft. My milkshake isn't milky. My milkshake needs more chocolate. Huh? Cusley was very disappointed to see his friends fussing and grumbling so much. All Kusli wanted to do was have fun with his friends. But they kept fussing and complaining about everything. It's cold here! No, it's too hot. I don't like these cushions. They aren't soft enough. Huh? Huh? Kasli couldn't understand why his friends were being so fussy. His head began to spin, and so he sat down and did nothing. Ah! Oh. After Kasli's friends left, Kasli went up to his mother. Friends were so fussy today. They complained about everything. I just didn't know what to do. I don't want to be like them. So I'm never going to fuss or grumble again. Cusley's mother's idea had worked. And Cusley never grumbled or fussed about anything again. 